In this video, we're going to do an example of imaging with a converging lens. And so we're going to say that there's an object, which is a distance DO is equal to, let's say, 40 centimeters away from the lens. And we're going to say that that lens is a converging lens, which has a focal length of 20 centimeters. Now, in this example, we want to find, first of all, what the rays look like as they pass through this system. We also want to find what the image location is at, so what the value of di is. We want to find the magnification, and we want to figure out where whether the image is real or virtual. So when I'm solving this type of problem, I usually start with the math. So I'm not sure whether the image is going to be real or virtual, and I'm not super certain about tracing my rays and what everything is going to look like. So to avoid making a mistake, I'm going to start by figuring out where the image is located. And for that, I can use my imaging equation. So 1 over f is equal to 1 over the distance to the object plus 1 over the distance to the image. And I can solve for the distance to the image. It's just 1 over f minus 1 over the distance to the object. I'll invert it. Now I know f, I know the distance to the object, and so I can just plug in those things. So I've got 1 over 20 centimeters here, minus 1 over 40 centimeters, all inverted. And so inside, I'll end up with 1 over 40 centimeters, or a total, a final answer of 40 centimeters. So this tells me about, this tells me a lot of things. So it tells me roughly or where my image is. So it's 40 centimeters away from the lens. It should be about here. But we can also use this to solve for the magnification. And this tells us whether our image is real or virtual. Now, because it's positive, this is going to be a real image. So it's going to be on the right hand side of the lens, 40 centimeters to the right of the lens, right, right about here. And we can also calculate, so we can now calculate the magnification, which we can use our trusty formula for a single lens, which is just that the magnification is negative di over do. And so they're both 40 centimeters here. do is positive 40, di is positive 40. And so we'll end up with a magnification of negative 1. And this means that our image should be inverted, so it should be the arrow should be pointing down. So I've got three out of the four things that I wanted. I know DI, I know that the image is going to be real, and I know the magnification, it's equal to negative one. So the only thing left is my rays. Now when I'm doing these types of problems, my favorite two rays are always going from the top of the object, and one is gonna hit the lens straight on. And the reason is because any rays that hit the lens straight on I know are going to get focused to the optical axis at a distance of the focal length, which here is 20 centimeters. So I know exactly where that ray will go, and it'll keep on going, it'll keep on going as, as far as it wants to. The second ray I always choose is one that goes straight through the center of the lens, because this one will just pass right through unperturbed, and it won't change its direction. So if I keep drawing, keep drawing, keep drawing, where these two intersect is my image. And so if I draw my image from the optical axis down, I see, yep, it looks to be at a distance of about 40 centimeters. So what I was expecting to see. And it's inverted, as I'm expecting, because my magnification is negative one. And it looks about the same size as my object. Now, because I'm freehanding this, this is never going to be perfectly precise. You know, if you measured this, this wouldn't be exactly the same as the object as I've drawn it. But this sketch gives us a good sense of what exactly is going on in the system, why it is that the image is upside down, for example. Now, you might be wondering, so this is a converging lens and my image is real. Do converging lenses always produce real images? And the answer to that is actually no, they don't. And we'll go over exactly when in the next video they produce real images and when they produce virtual images. The short answer is that it depends 
on whether the object distance is larger or smaller than the focal length, as to whether the sine of di is negative or positive. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.